Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me is Dr. Asli Tanagar Samanchi, founder and CEO of BNU, to discuss combining science and nature for safer, more effective natural bee products as well as female entrepreneurship. Dr. Samanchi, welcome to Trade Talks. Hi, Jill. Thank you for your kind introduction. Nice to meet you again. I'm very happy to be with you here today. All right, thanks so much. Let's talk about the intersection of food, technology, and sustainability. I believe sustainable food chains and technologies are the key points determining the future of the world. While providing enough food to feed the populations, we should be protecting the environment, supporting farmers, and good agricultural practices. The current pandemic conditions also showed us how food producers and suppliers are crucial to avoid supply chain disruptions. I am glad to implement traceable and sustainable agricultural production principles into our company. Our company is in producing 100% natural, healthy and high nutritious extracts, tablets, syrups, sprays and mixtures of value-added natural bee products like propolis, royal jelly, pollen, bee bread and raw honey. To provide a sustainable supply of high-quality bee products, we work with exclusive contracted beekeepers who only produce for us with good beekeeping practices. For instance, we make long-term agreements with our beekeepers to buy their beehive products at a pronounced price during the season. Besides, we provide them the necessary equipment and trainings continuously. We also created a fund from the sales of each single package of our products, like 10 cents per product, to provide an extra bonus for our beekeepers so that they can increase the number of their hives and improve their beekeeping activities. This business model lets us to trace the quality and origin of our products from the hive to the table while helping the world to keep green. Because you know, 80% of all the plants in the world are pollinated by bees. This means 60% of all the food is also produced by the help of the bees. Thus, if bees dis disappear, agricultural production and as a result, humanity will come to an end. That is why we are trying to support beekeeping and raise awareness about the importance of bees for the world. And what made you what made you choose this career path? Well, um, on top of all this, uh, I'm a food engineer and my entire work and research experience have been all about bees and their valuable products since the last 20 years. I also had my Master of Science and Doctorate degree about bee products too. Today, I'm so happy to be an entrepreneur specialized about those healthy products, bringing their value to all humanity while helping the world to keep green. By taking this opportunity, I like to talk about my entrepreneurship journey briefly. When working as an R&D and part director in a bee products company, I struggled with a significant health problem of my five-year-old son. He was getting sick frequently and was treated with antibiotics often. However, he eventually developed an autoimmune disease due to his weakened immune system. His doctor advised me to give him propolis and royal jelly to support his immune system. Since I was in the bee product sector for many years and an expert especially on determination of authenticity of these products, I already knew that many propolis products out there on the market are not authentic and most of them are adulterated. So I decided to produce propolis extract for my son. I contacted beekeepers to provide raw propolis and extracted it in my lab, resulting in miracle drop, which cured my son after six months of consumption. After this experience, I decided to leave professional life and become an entrepreneur to start production of propolis as a natural immune enhancer for all the children and mothers who had sim similar problems. What are some of the challenges with female entrepreneurship and what are you doing to address these challenges? Generally, most women entrepreneurs are discouraged in a male-dominated world and they can give up more easily than men in the competitive environment, which is not the case for me as I am an expert in my field and have deep expertise and very strong know-how 
on R&D. And my husband, who is a beekeeping expert and also an agricultural engineer, is also my partner. He always supports me in every occasion, both technically and emotionally. Thus, we are the developer and the owner of our intellectual property, and this gives us a real competitive advantage on the market. The biggest competitive challenge that I face is the unregulated environment of bee product sector and adulterated products on the market. Most of the competitor bee products out there on the market have quality and mislabeling problems. And as there is no standards and regulations for bee products other than honey in the world, there is nearly no inspection. No one is analyzing the active compounds or the authenticity of the products on the market. As a result, we need to show the quality difference of our products to our consumers. Here, we make use of science to face this challenge. We work with universities and clinical laboratories to prove the health beneficial effects of our product. There are 180 employees working for our company and our R&D team consists of 25 people who are also experts in their field like pharmacists, biologists, food scientists, chemists, agricultural engineers, and dietitians. I also had to face a second reality after I founded my own company. I was a highly educated technical expert in my field, but I had little experience about business management. So I went back to university and studied Master of Business Administration when our company was just a startup. Now our company is the world's one of the biggest property producers. We have been awarded for our products, innovation and entrepreneurship for 37 uh, times within the last seven years. And now my aim is to bring the nature's healing power to all humanity by the help of bees who changed the life of my son and me. We are working hard like bees in our company for this aim, and we will continue to do so with the same passion. All right, Dr. Samanchi, thanks so much for sharing your story, and thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Thank you, Jill.